Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to make a, a tube shadow box. Essentially, this is for uh, creating an illusion that an object is floating. Okay, and you can make these out of anything. Uh, round trash cans, like the most generic trash can, round metal, and half the kids I'm ever used to be, I don't have children, uh, it, it, just the most common metal trash can, you know, 24, 32 inches round. I've tried making these out of plastic and uh, other shapes. It just doesn't work. What I'm using is a 8-inch uh, galvanized duct end and a piece of 8-inch uh, duct. It was about 4 inches longer, but the antenna I had to use was short. So what you do is you start off with an antenna in your base. You either have to pop a hole in the bottom of your can, I have a two piece, and you cut off your antenna and you put a standard bullet, can't wiggle it out, wall anchor in it just to stabilize it. And uh, I like to put a washer behind, I'm out of washer, so I used a piece of uh, strapping, duct strapping. This is going to make sense in just a second. Uh, but what you do is you put a you put a hole in the back of your can. In my case, it's the back of the duct. You put your screw through, and that wall anchor. After you, uh, you know, obviously you have to cut the end off of your your uh, antenna, whatever you choose. Until you snug it up. So I have a little bit of. Uh, we used to call it designer's wax. I've had people arguing, but it's soft wax. You can use something tacky, but so you can pull it in and out. And uh, okay, we're going. Oops, factory edge. No, doesn't matter. Okay. And be very careful with sheet metal. I've been working for metal with metal for 20 years and sheet metal still it'll bite you. Okay, you see, that's what you end up with, is you can telescope it out. And what you do, you sit it like so, and you, what you do is you're lighting from the front. Okay guys, my camera is going to kill it from the front light, but I'm going to show you. There you go. If you go in straight, you don't get any shadows from the rod. You know, you have to light it from the face, but you get the gist of it. And uh, basically, you know, this whole thing was made from an antenna. You can buy one, a can. It's a great effect. And made pretty cheap. I made this one for, I guess, $12. And something else is, uh, I've tried different kinds of paint, and the best thing you can get is your flat black of your house brand, the most generic you can. I've used the Rust-Oleum flats. They're not quite flat, and you get some reflective quality. So, there it is, and hope you can benefit from it.